What I learned today was that Chris Rock doesn't own a microwave because the revenge that he served was a dish serve code. That was stupid. Oh, that faithful day, that legendary day. I remember it as if it was only 11 months ago because it was only 11 months ago. Obviously, as you guys know, Will Smith went up to Chris, slapped him because he was making fun of Jetta. And of course, there was an explosion, a big bang, if you will, a conception of the most brutal content that was outstandingly edgy. We had legendary moments like Andrew Schultz who ended up ripping apart Jetta and Will. If you didn't see the Oscars, Chris Rock got himself in a hairy situation. Okay, ah, and Will's chill. hand that struck Chris Rock was actually a metaphor for his relationship with Jada. Open, when he wanted it to be closed. <laughs> or that one legendary viral moment with RDC World. Bro, he slapped the shit out of him, bro. You thought he slapped the shit out of me? He did, bro. Your you head hurt. You said he slapped the shit out of you. I don't know. You, you, yeah, you said that. Yeah. Man, hell no, then, man. Come on. Hey, let me see my shoes. Let me see my shoes. Bro, 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 bro. Man, man, in the break. No, it's, it's not too late. I'm saying, man. Bro, it's like, over now. No, nah, I was playing. I thought he was playing. I didn't know he was trying to fight for real. Let me see Will. Nah. We also ended up getting so many legendary animations out of this. We ended up getting one where Will, he ends up charging his slap and just lets Chris have it. We also get this alternate universe where Chris Rock is the one kicking around Will Smith. <laughs> Which of course, by the way, if this actually did happen, everybody would be hating Chris, not Will, because we would have never known that Will was gonna go up to him and slap him. I'm sure Will Smith seeing all of this made him wanna kick all of these content creators in the back of the face. Yeah, that, that's possible, right? back of the face. And of course, seeing the severe backlash for his actions, because as you guys know, there's always gonna be an opposite and equal reaction, Newton's third law. However, after the severe backlash, Will ended up coming out with an apology. Chris, I apologize. I don't care, I don't care, I don't care. And since then, Chris Rock has been touring the country, talking about the story, at every nightclub he can, but it's very difficult to get any footage of him talking about it. And so Chris Rock and Netflix ended up, I believe, collaborating on this project where he ended up dropping a special. I don't remember what the name of the special, I believe it's called Selectively Outraged. He ended up dropping a special and in that special, he ends up talking about Will Smith. And with that conflict stirred, of course you're gonna end up getting a lot of anti-disestablishmentarianistic expialidocious individuals who wanna chime in and give their opinion. Chris Rock's joke was sexist. The fuck? Bro, are we talking about the same person? Are we talking about this rock, Chris Rock, or that rock? It absolutely was. Whenever you go on the stage and make fun of women's appearances, you're dabbling in sexism. When we tell the final story of his Oscar win, and that night, we'll never be able to disconnect that victory that he finally achieved from one of his worst mistakes in public memory. Well, yeah, I mean, the Oscars seldom ever has a memorable moment. And this slap was ingrained literally in the eyes of people. After all, it's not often when someone is degraded and humiliated in front of millions of people. Of course, no one's gonna remember Will won an Oscar. I didn't even remember. I completely forgot about that because I only focused on the slap. Chris Rock had the opportunity to teach us all a lesson in grace. Instead, he gave us a lesson and this is what revenge can look like. And it's not a dish best served cold. Sometimes you shouldn't serve the dish at all. Sometimes you just kill him with kindness. Hey, listen, man, if Chris wants to go ahead and do that, then by all means, I hope he understands the consequences for his actions. Just know that this is his way of coping with it. I believe it's important for him to express how he feels so long as he's not hurting anybody physically or inspiring a mob of people to attack certain people or said people physically, which I wanna go ahead and insert. I'm only talking about the Will Smith joke, okay? Every other joke, I don't know about. I didn't see the special. That snippet of video that's been circulating on Twitter, I'm only referencing that video. And here's the thing, comedy is subjective, okay? You wanna talk about how it's funny to you? That's fine. But let's not act like this isn't warranted. Will Smith, he ended up creating an action and of course there was a reaction to it. I mean, not everybody's gonna agree to a peaceful mindset. And I also want you guys to understand that if Will Smith never got the criticism that he did, he would still be walking around with his chest puffed out, thinking that he owned the Oscars that night. Hey, oh, and get this too. Will Smith apparently had a problem with the roast. It says here, apparently Smith did not take the roast well. A source told Entertainment Tonight, 
He didn't watch it, but he had people tell him what Chris said. Will and Jada have seen the comments about it. Will apologize to Chris and would like for Chris to let it go. Let it go. You want Chris to let it go? My dude, Chris is gonna let go when he feels like he's ready to let go, when he feels like he's vented everything he can about this situation. And I suggest everyone to stay out of the situation, okay? The only person who can say something about this is the first guy that Will slapped. Hey, man. Come on, man, what the hell is your problem, buddy? I'm just kidding. Nah, he ended up getting slapped because he ended up trying to French kiss or kiss Will Smith on the cheek or something. Will reportedly feels that Netflix made a disgraceful move by airing Chris Rock's special. And the reason why is because if you guys don't know, uh, Netflix and Chris Rock, they ended up dropping the special one week before the Oscars, which I thought was quite the timing. And the marketing couldn't have been perfect, obviously because it got people to talk again. And so when people got to talking, of course, they ended up bringing the issue over to the Oscars. If anything unpredictable or violent happens during the ceremony, just do what you did last year. Nothing. <laughs> I'm also going to go ahead and put my unbiased hat on and give you guys Will's side of the story, because believe it or not, certain events led to this point in time. Now, I don't know if you guys know this, but Will Smith has been consistently and effectively been emasculated and humiliated over and over by his own wife, Jada Pinkett Smith. And of course, the internet is just grilling Will over and over and over again because they believe that Will Smith is allowing this behavior to occur. So just in case you guys don't know about the humiliation that Will has been experiencing over the years, I'm going to go ahead and provide some examples for you guys. These are some of the times where Jada has embarrassed Will in the eyes of the public, forcing Will to be on Instagram live and blaming him for the woes of their relationship, calling him foolish. Would you say she has been instrumental in you and not redefining our relationship? I would say don't just start filming me without asking me. Oh my goodness. If you could film me. Sam, come help us again, please. I'm still dealing with foolishness. Don't, no, nah, no, nah, she, yeah, cause she, don't just. Would you say that she helped us heal? Talking about intimacy issues with other people. I really despise the fact that if you're talking to this, I don't even care if it's your best friend. I don't like my personal business entering the ears of any other person. I really would not like it if I trusted you with my most vulnerable insecurities and for you to go and tell someone else. I really despise that. And of course, she's out there talking with Gwyneth Paltrow and her own mother about how she's unsatisfied with Will in the bedroom. I think yeah. you expect your partner to know especially when it comes to sex. Right. It's like, well, if you love me, you should know. Right. Mm -mm. right. You know what I mean? Yeah. If you love me, you should be able to read you my should mind. Read my mind. Yeah. She's talking about how she expects Will to perform his duty and read her mind. However, in the same breath, she would talk about how she grew out of that mindset. I, I don't know, because I don't feel like that at all. I guess, or maybe I've just grown out of it. I think it's you like, probably... you gotta tell me what you <laughs> what you need. Like, I can't read your mind. Right, I'm Because right. I've grown out of it, too. Yeah. Because yeah, right. I've grown out of it, too. Because right. I've grown out of it, too. Oh, she's a walking country. You know what? Come here. Go ahead. Say that shit again, bro. Say you grew out of it. Go ahead. Also, if you guys didn't know, Will Smith ended up throwing a party for Jada Pinkett Smith because Jada was about to reach her 40th birthday. And during that time, according to Will, she was experiencing depression, anxiety. And so he wanted to do something big for her, something that can get her mind off of it. And you know what she ends up telling him? She says that this is an overwhelmingly ostentatious display of his ego. The fuck? Bro, he sacrificed three years of his time to fucking make this for you. There's been other times too, like Will Smith acknowledging that Jada and Tupac had a fiery relationship. He even dubbed it a legendary relationship. And if that wasn't even bad enough, Willow Smith, one of his daughters, ends up writing a letter to Tupac begging him to come back so then mommy and her can be happy again. And there's been other embarrassments for Will as well, like, Jada being in a relationship with August Alcino, bringing Will onto Table Talk to talk about the entanglement issue. And lastly, of course, his facial expressions during that entire talk, they were turned into memes. They even have a Will Smith tears template if you want to create your own meme. You creative, you feel creative, there you go, man. That's the website you go to get your free template. I don't know, man, like this entire situation is just so, it's so messed up in so many levels. 
And honestly, I, I just do not see this family improving in any way. Anyways, if you guys ended up enjoying the video, please uh, let me know in the comment section down below. And yeah, man, hopefully you guys ended up learning something today.